Is that a banana in your pocket, or are you just glad to see us? You've got a lot of nerve stealing from the notorious Monkey Island cannibals. You're cannibals? Well, yes. Although lately, we've been trying to stay away from red meat. Only for health reasons. We're still as vicious as ever. Oh, especially with tourists who try to steal our stuff for souvenirs. Well... What do you have to say for yourself? Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Hey, do you really think we're that stupid? I wouldn't push it if I were you. Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Ha! We're not going to fall for that old trick again. I guess we'll eat you now. Unless... If you had some sort of offering for us, something that we could pass on to the great monkey, well... There are three holes in it. We've already got one of those. Obviously, you have nothing for us. We might eat you, we might let you go. We'll have to talk about it with the village nutritionist. Come, let me show you our guest hut. That should do it. Cannibals. I'm not giving you bloodsuckers your key to the monkey head until you return my banana picker. H.T. It says, if found, please return to Herman Toothrot. Looks loose. I might fit through that hole, but I don't think this banana picker will. And no, I'm not getting squeamish. I'd love to eat the guy. So let's do it. But think of your arteries. We are cannibals for crying out loud. Yeah, but cannibals have to watch their saturated fats just like everyone else.
my, that's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Definitely the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. What a cheap piece of mass-produced tourist crap. On the bottom it says, made by Lemonhead. I doubt anyone will miss this piece of junk. The banana thief returns to the scene of the crime. Maybe we should just eat him right now. Do you have any idea how much cholesterol is in one of these things? Now then, how did you break out of our hut, and why did you come back? Don't eat me. I'll give you anything. Anything? Hmm. We'll give you one more chance to trade something of yours for your freedom. Well... Hey, wow, this is impressive. Lemonhead, take a look at this. Ooh, that's nice. And it says, made by Lemonhead, just like one of mine. We should take this to the Great Monkey. Yes, I agree. We are very grateful to you for this fine gift. If there's anything you need on Monkey Island, just come see us. picker back. But will they give it to me? They want the monkey head key back first. Ha! That'll be the day. Don't you think they're being unreasonable? It's not as though I'm asking for a lot. Hey, thanks. I thought I'd never see this again. Here, you can take this key to the monkey head back to the natives. Okay. And don't worry, I won't use it or anything. Have you come back to let us repay you for your fine gift? Well, actually, there is something. Tell us, what is it? I'm looking for somebody. Here? On Monkey Island? We're the only people living on Monkey Island. Well, the only civilized people. I'm looking for 30 dead guys and one woman. I don't think I want to hear any more about it. Wait, maybe he's talking about those dead pirates. Oh, yeah. 
Those guys. Then you've seen the ghost pirate LeChuck and his cadaverous crew? Those jerks have been bugging us for months. Zooming around here in that creepy ghost ship of theirs, wailing and moaning until all hours of the morning. Scaring away all the cruise ship business? Normally, when we have problems with the undead, we just cook up our standard potion of exorcism and be done with it. So why don't you do that now? Well, the main ingredient of the potion is a very rare root. In fact, there's only one in existence. We only use a little bit at a time, you see. But the Chuck stole the whole thing. Where is he hiding it? He's in a place beneath this island. Somewhere in a huge system of catacombs. A hellish place filled with the wailing of tortured souls trapped forever in the rock where the walls bleed and the air is thick with the rancid smell of pure evil. Tourists used to line up for hours to see it. Sounds neat. Can I see it? No, we lost the key. It was stolen. Well, we loaned it to a hermit who lives on the island. And until that crusty old pantless weirdo brings it back, we're keeping his banana picker. LeChuck came in here and stole your root? What a cad. And I suppose stealing bananas is any better. I'm off to find LeChuck and get the root. Sorry, but it's just not that easy. Trying to find LeChuck could be very dangerous. You'd never find your way through the catacombs without them. Hey, Ixnay on the Edhe of the Avigator Nay. The what? Nothing. Nothing. Ude uye avhe a apme of a of a atacombs kay? Ari say one. We could at least tell him what the head does. Well, it's a navigating tool. It's a head. It was once attached to a navigator. We've kept it alive magically so we could take advantage of its innate sense of direction. Getting through the catacombs without it is impossible. But it's our only one, so you can't have it. I guess we have nothing to offer you. After he gave us that nice idol, too. Feel free to come to the Great Monkey and visit your idol anytime. So, anyway, Lemonhead, what was that you were saying about tropical oils? Well... Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. Looks pretty good for a dried up old head, doesn't it? We keep it wrapped in this magical necklace that makes it invisible to ghosts. Oh, look! I think he likes you! Just follow his nose and he'll lead you to LeChuck's hideout in the catacombs. Then, get the root from LeChuck and come back here. We'll mix up a batch of our special enzymatic ghost dissolving solution. And you can pour it on LeChuck like salt on a slug. Yeah. Good luck.